Today, I will show you how to create a custom WooCommerce checkout page using Elementor. By the end of this video, you will know how to transform the boring, dull, default WooCommerce checkout page from this into this modern, high converting checkout page that looks like this one that you can easily customize using Elementor by dragging and dropping, customizing settings, and adjusting styling to match your website. Here's what we'll cover in today's video. I will show you a library of Elementor checkout page templates that you can use and how to one-click import them into your website. Next, I'll show you how to customize your entire checkout page and Elementor checkout widget to match the branding of your website. Then, I'll show you how to add this mini cart widget into your sidebar. This is important because it solves one of the biggest problems with the default WooCommerce checkout page. I'll explain what this problem is a little bit later on in this video. I'll show you how to tweak your checkout form in Elementor so that your customers who purchase from your store on their mobile devices can do so easier and faster. And also through this video, I will show you how to set up this multi-step checkout form here that breaks your checkout form into smaller, less overwhelming steps for your customers to help increase your conversion rate and make your customers more likely to complete their purchase. This is a great video with lots of tips designed to help you create the best checkout page possible using Elementor. And everything is fast, easy to set up, no coding is required, and everything is pretty much done for you out of the box using one plugin called Funnel Kit. There is a free version of the Funnel Kit plugin that you can find in the WordPress plugin repository, but today we're going to be using the paid version and using some of the features offered within it to help you create the perfect checkout page using Elementor. So let's kick off this tutorial by jumping into the Funnel Kit plugin and creating our checkout page using Elementor. Here under Funnel Kit and Store Checkout, let's click on Add New Step. Next, with Checkout selected, we'll click on Elementor. And then from here, we have two different pathways we could take to build our checkout page in Elementor. The first one here would be to start with a blank page, or alternatively, we could choose one of the pre-made designs here that are ready to go, all set up inside of Elementor. The pre-made designs are obviously going to save you time and give you a really good head start with a professional modern starting point for your checkout page design. And for those reasons, in today's video, we are going to start with a pre-made design and we are going to choose the Shopee. So here I'll click preview and I can then preview that template to see it in action. On the left hand side, I can also go through the pre-made templates and see other ones. So here I could click to preview this one, review that there. And if I like this more, then I could choose to import this one. Inside this preview mode, you can also see what this checkout form would look like with a multi-step checkout. So currently the checkout form here inside this template is previewed as a one-step checkout form. But if I click over here on two-step, we now see two different steps for the checkout form. And if I click on three-step, we now have three steps in our multi-step checkout form. And if we scroll down, we can see what that would look like. In this example today, I'm going to select two step and this being our chosen design for today's video, let's go ahead and click import this template, name our checkout step. And this is for our admin purposes only here. I'll write store checkout Elementor and click add. And now our store checkout has two steps inside of it. The first one is the checkout page. And once our customers submit that, they go to the next step, which is the thank you page. Let's now customize our WooCommerce checkout page using Elementor. To do that, I will click into my checkout step. And this is where you design your page using Elementor. So you'd click here to launch Elementor, but also worth noting under here is the form builder. So on the previous screen where we elected to have a two-step multi-step checkout, you can see step one is here. And then on step two, we have the shipping details and then we take payment. So the form that we create here using the form builder is what sits inside of our design that we create using Elementor. We're going to come back and have a look at this form builder a little bit later on in today's video. But for now, let's go up the top here and click edit Elementor template to begin designing our checkout page. The first thing that I want to point out here is that the Funnel Kit plugin registers two new widgets that you can use inside of Elementor. The first one, if we click over to here, is the checkout form widget. And then over here is the mini cart widget. If we right click and go to the navigator, you can see both of those widgets here. There's the checkout form widget. And then over here in the second column is the mini cart widget. If we go up the top here and click to show all of our widgets and I collapse these down here, we'll see Funnel Kit is its own set of widgets. And again, there, those two are there. 
If we click on this first widget here for the checkout form, in the left hand sidebar under the content tab are all the different settings that we can use to customize the checkout form. Under the style tab is how we can change the appearance of all the different elements in our form. And then under the advanced tab, we have some extra settings. Coming back to the content tab, let's go through each of the settings here to show you how they can be used to customize your form. So the first group of settings here is related to your multi-step checkout. And this is showing the steps up above your checkout form. So currently they are shown here as a breadcrumb. We could change it from breadcrumb to tabs. And now we have a more prominent layout for the different steps in our multi-step checkout. For each step, we could change the heading and the subheading. So for this example today, the first step is collecting the customer's information and shipping details. So we could update this to say information, your details. And then if we have a look at step two, this is where we're asking people to select their shipping method. So flat rate, free shipping, express shipping, and then put their payment details in. So for step two, we could write complete order. And then here we could write shipping and payment. Next, let's go to the collapsible order summary, which is currently disabled. But if we enable this, it now shows here. And if we open this up, you can see it is mimicking what we have in the mini cart widget over here in the sidebar. So what we generally find is to turn that off for desktop. But then if we go to the tablet where the sidebar is hidden, then we show the collapsible order summary. So if we open that up, your customers can review their order and then proceed through the multi-step checkout to complete their payment that way. We'll stay here in the tablet view to show you the settings and what they do. And we'll also expand this. And now these next two settings here, quantity switcher and allow deletion, add massive improvements to the default WooCommerce checkout form. And I'm gonna show you exactly what they do and why they're so beneficial once we look at the mini cart widget. But for now, I definitely recommend keeping them enabled. Let's now return to the desktop version and proceed to the customer information section. So if we go back to step one, email is full. We can change this to one half. So now it only takes up 50% of the width, one third, two third, and so on. I'm going to set this to full and that's going to be the same for the shipping address. You can change the width of each of these fields there. And then if we go to the checkout buttons, this is the multi-step button to go to the next step, proceed to the next step. You can change that button text there and proceed to the next step. We can also change the text that shows on our place order now button. We could enable an icon and we can also show the order total so that it appears like this. Showing the order total on your place order button is a great way to, to reduce the amount of errors you get coming through your checkout because your customers can see if they have anything in their cart that they don't mean to purchase. They can scroll up, adjust their cart and then place their order once they see the total they were expecting. So scrolling up to the top now, let's go over to the style tab and begin to customize the appearance of the elements inside of our form. So the first set of options you have available to you to style your form are related to your entire checkout form. So you could change the font used, the colors of the text inside of your form. For this demonstration today, I'm gonna change the color of my links to be my hyperlink color, which is the purple. The next set of options are related to our multi-step checkout. In particular, our steps that show at the top of our form. So here for the active step, I'm going to change the tabs border color to be my purple color. I'll change the counts background color to be my purple color. Going on to the next one, we can change our form fields. And as you can see, you have all the different settings here available to you that you would need to make sure this form matches the rest of your website. Next, let's have a look at our checkout buttons. So coming down here, we could update the background color to be our green, and then the hover could be our themes hover color. So now this call to action button matches the rest of our website. And if we proceed to the second step, that's also updated our place order now button. Then let's scroll right to the bottom and enable this setting here, sticky on mobile. And this setting is great for your customers that are purchasing from your website on their mobile devices. And here's why. As they're browsing your website and they scroll down the page to complete your order form, the button that takes them to the next step in your multi-step checkout form is always sticky to the bottom of their device. So they always know what they need to click to go to the next step in the checkout process. Once they reach the final step and they're reviewing all their details down here, they put in their payment information. Again, that place order now button is fixed at the bottom of their device and visible at all times to help you successfully get the sale. So now coming up, let's 
let's have a look at our mini cart widget. Under the content tab, we could change the widget title, so order summary, and then under products, we could choose to disable the product image and then also disable the ability for customers to update quantities and delete products from their cart. So these are the two settings that we also saw when we were editing our checkout form widget. So let me show you why enabling these is going to make the buying experience a whole lot easier for your customers. So normally when your customers add products into their cart and then go to your checkout page, with the default WooCommerce checkout form, once your customers start completing it, if they realize that they have something in their cart that they want to remove, for example, if I wanted to remove this eyelash curler, or maybe they've added an extra product into their cart. So maybe here I only wanted to buy one mascara, but I've accidentally added two into my cart. With the default WooCommerce checkout form, your customers cannot adjust quantities or remove items from their cart. So to do so, they need to click the back button to go back to your cart page. Or in this case, I'm using a slide out cart. And then I would need to reduce the quantity of the mascara here, remove the eyelash curler here, and then go back to the checkout page and continue to complete my checkout form. And that's why these two settings here are such great enhancements to the WooCommerce checkout experience. With the quantity switcher enabled and allow deletion enabled, at checkout, your customers can now adjust the quantities and remove items from their cart without having to jump back to the cart page and then return to the checkout page. A much better buying experience. Next, if we go to coupon, we can also enable or disable the coupon. And currently it is enabled and it's collapsible. So our customers could click here to reveal it. We could also just disable that. So the coupon field shows at all times. Going over to the style tab, you'll find the ability to customize all aspects of your mini cart. For example, if we open up our coupon here and then go under coupon, we could change our link color to be our purple color. And then scrolling down, we could change the apply coupon button to match our website. So for example, if we put in a coupon code here, it goes to the orange, but we could update that to be our purple color. And then also update the button's hover color to be our hover color. So with all that done, I'm happy with how those two widgets look on our page. And just as you would expect, because this is designed in Elementor, we can customize all the other areas of our page using Elementor like it is a normal page on our website. So firstly, we wanna update the logo here. So if we click and then click over here, insert media, select our logo and click select. We can center it on the page and then under the style tab, we can adjust its width so it's not overwhelming. Down here are some ideas for content that you could add relating to your business. So for example, you could explain your satisfaction guarantee here, your returns policy, your shipping policy, your product quality assurance policy, and then also your customer service details. So your phone number, your operating hours, and how people can get in touch with your business if they have a problem after purchasing. And then scrolling down the page, here let's update this review to be our own. So I'll paste in our review, update their name, and then here let's choose their photo, insert media, there she is, and click select. And scrolling up to the top, this is our final checkout page. Returning to our admin area and editing our checkout page, now I wanna to return to the checkout form builder that I mentioned towards the start of today's video. So this is where you can customize the elements that make up your form. For example, we could turn this from a two-step multi-step checkout into a three-step by clicking add new step. And by default, we move the payment gateways to the last step where we collect payment details. So now our first step is about collecting the customer's information and their shipping details. The second step would be where they select how they want their order to be shipped to them. And then the third step is collecting their payment. If we go back to step one, inside of this website, we might be using email to do abandoned cart recovery, but we also might use SMS. So if that's the case, we'd probably wanna collect the phone number right at the start of the form. If we go down to shipping address, we can enable and disable fields by clicking to turn them on. And then for each field, you can change the label, the placeholder text, and set it to be required. So maybe in this example, we wanna show the apartment number field. So we will enable that and then click update. For our phone, which is currently not required, maybe we need to make this required and then click update. Let's go ahead and save our form that we've just built here in the form builder and then scroll to the top and then click edit elemental template and then click on our checkout form widget. Step one looks good. Step two is about shipping. So all right, shipping and then shipping method and then click update. 
And now the titles for our multi-step checkout match what we just set up in the form builder. Inside the admin area, I now wanna move from the design tab over to the optimizations tab. Because on this page, you will find all the optimizations you can activate to make your WooCommerce checkout form faster and easier for your customers to complete their purchase. For more information on these form optimizations, see our separate video where we cover these in greater detail. And here's a final look into everything that we set up in today's video. So here on my shop page, I will add this into my cart and then I'll proceed to my checkout page. We have our beautiful WooCommerce checkout page that we designed entirely inside of Elementor with the multi-step checkout experience, the ability to adjust quantities, all without having to jump back to the cart page and then return here. Here we can select our country with the enhanced phone field. So I'm gonna choose Australia in my case. And that lets me know what format I need to enter my phone number there. If I had a coupon code, I could enter it into here. So it could be take 10 and apply that. I don't currently have one set up. If we scroll down and I've put in all my details, I could click proceed to the next step which takes me to step two, shipping. Here I can review all the information that I entered in the previous step to catch any errors. For example, maybe I entered the incorrect street address. I could identify it here and then click change to return to step one. And then I could update it to one, two, four, and then go back to step two. And now that this all looks good, I can choose my shipping method. I need this by tomorrow. So I'm gonna choose express shipping and then click proceed to final step. And then step three, I'll review all of my details. Then down here, I'll put in my card details. Double check that this total here is what I'm expecting, which it is. And then I'll click place order now. And my order has been placed. Creating a custom WooCommerce checkout page using Elementor is just one of the many powerful features included with Funnel Kit. Other features include the ability for you to design high converting checkout pages, easily add one click upsells to boost your average order value, and so much more. To start making more profit with your WooCommerce store, head to our pricing page to see our current deals.